Those are gunshots you heard captured on a doorbell camera from just after one this morning. Portland police tell us one of their officers witnessed that shooting that happened outside an apartment complex at Southeast Holgate and 112th. They say no one was injured. After the shooting, the suspects ran into a nearby neighborhood and hid for hours. Officers eventually took a man and a male teenager into custody. Many people who live in that neighborhood woke up to an alert in the middle of the night. It told them to shelter in place while police tried to find the suspects. But that same alert also went to thousands of Portlanders who don't even live in that part of town. Joe Ranieri joins us live from downtown Portland. So, Joe, what went wrong here? Well, it was frustrating for thousands of people throughout the metro area. Now, Brittany, that alert was supposed to go out to just a small area, about basically a two-block radius, but instead, that alert went out to thousands of people throughout parts of Multnomah County. Now, I did speak with a spokesperson with the uh, Portland Bureau of Emergency Management who told me the problem has been fixed. Many people in Multnomah County Monday morning received a wake-up call they did not want to get. The alert and warning system that we use to communicate with the public when there's life safety actions that they need to take. That alert system was designed to go out to people in a two-block area of where the shooting happened, in the area of Southeast 112th and Southeast Holgate Boulevard in the Powellhurst Gilbert neighborhood. Instead... There was an error in the system that unfortunately um, had... Uh, set to go out that same message that was meant to go to a two block area. It actually went out to around 10,000 phone numbers and email uh, addresses in the Multnomah County area. Thousands received a message from Public Alerts, which is a notification system residents sign up for. It's designed to send out alerts in case of an emergency. Publicalerts.org allows you to sign up in the county of your residence and input as many contact methods um, as you'd like to be alerted in. In Monday morning's case, some people who live nearby didn't get any notice, while others in southwest Portland got one. We're always trying to make things better. Um, we're, we've, uh, we're trying to refine the system's usage, provide training for our users. It was one of those settings that didn't do what it was intended to do. Operations Manager Katie Wolf with the Portland Bureau of Emergency Management says once those alerts went out, they knew something wasn't right. We figured out there was something wrong right away and saw that it went to too many people and started investigating the issue and, the, and then we have resolved that issue now. An error Wolf says was quickly figured out, but not before thousands of people woke up in a panic wondering what was going on. Now, Brittany, I'm sure a lot of people are glad to hear that the problem has been fixed. Now, again, Wolf tells me that if you are already signed up to get those alerts to your phone in case of an emergency, there is nothing you need to do because the air has been fixed. Reporting live in downtown Portland tonight, Joe Ranieri, KGW News. All right.